Hey guys, uh, Spider back, and uh, you know once after you do those switches that we showed you in the last video, you turn them vertic all vertically or all horizontally? Well, once you activate the last one, and Hyper did this, I activate, I, I'm the one who's grabbing Neil's head. So you grab him with the entangler, and he wants you to follow or route. You have to follow which way his head is pointing. If you go the wrong way, then you're going to have to sort of backtrack. So you have to go through the middle here in this area if he takes you through here. So he brings you... Now, a couple of times we'd, we've done this before, and he wanted to go to Pack-a-Punch, but then as soon as we got to go got to Pack-a-Punch, he wanted to turn around. Like, his face would turn around. So we would go away from Pack-a-Punch. We thought it was just like a challenge thing that he wanted us to do. But apparently he does, in fact, want to go into the Pack-a-Punch room. So you just follow his route. Hyper's running all the zombies. I just use Explosive Touch. There were hardly any zombies that spawned in, you know, on my, you know, around my person, right? So the ones that did ended up getting exploded. Hyper's just running them. He's not killing them. And all we're going to do is bring the head, Neil's head, to Pack-a-Punch. And we're going to install him on a computer that's sitting on a desk inside Pack-a-Punch. So once we get in there, right, see, watch, he's going to turn his head around. And he'll actually lead you off into a bunch of different directions if you don't go into Pack-a-Punch. But he wants to be in here. So you launch him into this computer screen right here. Boom. Launch. And then you can hit square and you get sound from an activation every time. It's not just once. Every time you hit square on him, it sounds like you're activating him. So anyways, that's where we're at. Um, we're continuing on. We're not sure what to do from here, but we're on top of it. That's it for now. Spider out.